It's over. It, it can't be over. We've been having so much fun for over a year and a half. But it's over. Let me tell you why. First and foremost, the Battle of Eisenfels. There are no Prussians left. There's a reason for that. The army of the Corps of Marshal Lan crossed the river. You see those little river lines? He built two bridges, threw them up overnight, took long enough, marched over, and came across the unguarded bridge. The confused men of Marshal Blucher's Corps never prepared for that. And to the applause, actually, of Didier Rouy, the man who invented the game, the men of Marshal Lan's Corps came crashing down, sending Haute Pol's cavalry first into the melee in, in Weissenfels. As a result, Marshal Davout never quit pounding from the west. In the center and right, Marshal, Marshal Bernadotte and, and His Majesty, the Emperor Napoleon himself, kept pounding north. And then finally, coming this way, came the men of Marshal Lannes' corps, and it was too much to bear. The men of Marshal Blucher's corps, the men of General Scharnhorst's corps, have all surrendered. Blucher is sneaking his way this way, back to Leipzig, He's made his way past Tilly's guards this last round, so he'll make his way and live to fight, and let's see if that 1815 turns out any differently than it did in history. Here's one of the interesting stories. Marshal Ogereau never attacked. Had he done so, that entire division would have surrendered immediately. It's lost its will to fight, it's surrounded and collapsed. But he never did, so it never did. Up here, Marshal Marat had done exactly what he wanted to do, bottle up the, co bottle up the division, of the Württemberg Reserve. He's formed that semicircle, cutting off this route up to Magdeburg. It's interesting that the French never quite cut off the main route of retreat, which was up this way through Halle. Uh, those two divisions, however, as you probably remember, those of Townsend and Sekvitz are both zero morale and could be easily pushed out of the way by anybody coming. Over here, we had the fight of General Vartens who resisted the attacks of both Marshal Ney and Marshal Sioux over that river line. They fought valiantly, trying to give General Brunswick, Prince Brunswick, one last chance to defend at Leipzig, but they too were shattered. The rules of the game say that when one half of the Prussian divisions are shattered, it is to be judged a French win. There are other ways, but this is a shattering of half the Prussian divisions. This has been a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and who knows, maybe we'll do another one.